The tour took me through some of the world's gay capitals. We were appalled by the countless emotionally low-toned people we had to brush shoulders with every day. Hubbard's hatred of homosexuals had been instilled in us from our initial training at the complex and was firmly cemented as we continued up the bridge. During my training, I had been drilled on the dangers posed by gays and lesbians who were no different to pedophiles in Hubbard's view. Hubbard's solution for these sexual perverts was to quarantine or institutionalize them or to put them under church processing to cure them. In Dianetics, he wrote that homosexuals and sadists are actually quite ill physically. In his 1952 book, Science of Survival, he had developed his tone scale, which I had learned about while doing my hatting studies back at SMI. It ranges from negative three to positive four, and homosexuals, or perverts as he referred to them, fall in at 1.1. Here we have promiscuity, perversion, sadism, and irregular practices, he wrote. He went on to describe them as intensely dangerous and a flaming danger signal which must be heeded if the human race is to go forward. I had never had an opinion on homosexuals before I joined the Church of Scientology, but as a Sea Org member, I had learned to despise them.